welcome. This is the best better half of Swish and Flick talking to you. The best quarter of Swish and Flick talking to you. Welcome to us making things on the internet. Vroom vroom. <laughs> Tiffany, tell, tell the viewers at home, what are we gonna do? We are going to make cold butter beer because September 1st is very quickly approaching. By the time this comes out, it's probably already passed. So super fast. Um, Tiffany found a recipe on the internet. AshleyMarie.com, so it's like a copycat, homemade butterbeer, cold butterbeer. Um, I will say, Tiffany, tell the viewers at home, how many, what, how many does this make? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, sent me, and I was like, it calls her two, two liters of cream soda. So we um, did not cut this recipe. I'm gonna probably suggest that you do, unless you have 17 people you want to drink with. We're gonna have bigger glasses anyways. It's so be a like, lot. Cause eight ounces really isn't as much as it's you like think two, it is. It's like two of those. Yeah, yeah, 16 ounces. So it'll fit two of these, so really. It's fine. That many, but. Everything's fine. Wow. And lovely. <laughs> My lovely siblings are in the background. Not annoying me at all. Um, <laughs> so we've laid it out. We've kind of put everything out like beforehand. Um, Shall we like, show you? So I, I just visually, like having out exactly what we need, um, we have some spatulas. We have a meat thermometer, so um, it calls for, like you had to check the temperature because you're making butterscotch. So it's butterscotch, whipped topping, and then soda. And it calls to like make sure you get the right temperature because you don't want to burn your butterscotch. Burn your um, butterscotch. And there is a candy thermometer somewhere in this house. But where it is, I don't know. Cool. So I have a meat thermometer. So we're gonna see, hopefully it works. Yeah. Cream soda, heavy whipping cream, rum extract, salt, corn syrup, apple cider vinegar, dark and light brown sugar, and marshmallow fluff with, of course, butter. Ta-da! And a saucepan. Yeah, saucepan. Although it calls for a medium one, this is not a medium saucepan. Nothing yeah. about this recipe I is like, right. No, I like using this when I'm making things that are like candy-like, which I don't ever do, but like, um, I'll, <laughs> if I make like a margarita and I have to make simple syrup or a simple syrup for any kind of beverage, I will use this saucepan. Engineering. My brother's setting up the meat thermometer to act like a candy thermometer. I thought this was a video of Tiffany cooking. Well. And look who's holding the camera. I think we knew how this was gonna turn out. Corn syrup. Mm. How do you make corn syrup? Is that something like humans can make like at you home? Boiled corn. Are you serious? Pretty much. <laughs> I don't know. Let's make that up. <laughs> I wonder what it tastes like. Sugar. Let's do a taste test. Tastes like nothing. Doesn't even taste like an ear of corn. Hi, pooch. It's got a little bit of sweetness, but like maybe just wow. a tiny dollop on my hand. Hi, pup. Oh, uh, corn, really like corn syrup is just like So you'll, I'm gonna do the butterscotch first, and then I'll make the whip topping. You'll need a separate bowl, obviously, to make the whip topping because you're whipping the whipping cream. Are you gonna whip it good? Yeah, whip it. All right. So according to the recipe, also we've never done this before, so it might turn out turn out oh, <laughs> garbage. <laughs> 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 So it says in a medium saucepan, bring the brown sugar. So another thing, this recipe says um, it calls for a cup and a half of brown sugar, light or dark, and then she says she uses both. So I we just did both. So we did an equal splitting. So a half of a one and a half cups is three fourths cups, according to the baker, who is Bridgie Boo. So that's our first thing. We're gonna put this in a saucepan. Was that satisfying? What's the next thing? Corn syrup. Corn syrup and butter. I'm also gonna turn this one on medium. Boil. So you bring it to a boil. I wouldn't go too hot, like medium. Mm-hmm. I, you know, yeah. Don't burn your butterscotch. Um, corn syrup. And butter. And then um, corn syrup is sticky. So you can either, well, you're gonna have to measure it, but um, I always like to get all the extra out. By using, With a spatula. Yeah, like a rubber spatula. A rubber spatula. And then 
a third of a cup of butter. Doo -doo -doo. So you want to boil this all together. A candy thermometer is good for these types of things because it just stays on the side. I literally didn't know that there was a candy thermometer. We always just use meat thermometers. Well, when do you make candy? Never, but you know, I never even heard it in passing. So boil until the syrup reaches 240. So that's basically what we're doing right now. I would not stop stirring it or like stir it because you don't want it to burn. And I believe, I could be wrong, but I think that sugar can burn quickly. I think it's okay butter, right? So I'm gonna just turn the temperature up. I turned it on low because this is like a small saucepan. So tip when you're making things in a saucepan, depending on like how big it is, I don't like the flames going up the side. I like to keep them like in the middle of the bottom. So like it might say be like on medium heat, but if the flames are going up the side of your thing that you're cooking in, turn it down. Um, Cause you don't, you'll get a more consistent cook or whatever you're doing if it's on the bottom of your pan. How you doing? Good. I'm just waiting for this little piece of butter to melt. Actually, that feels great. We're in the 150s, temperature wise, just so you know. 160s, we're climbing! That's another thing, you don't want the thermometer to touch the bottom of the pan mm -hmm. because <laughs> it won't be reading the temperature of whatever you're like measuring because it'll be reading the temperature of the bottom of the pan. Sure. Also, I think when you're like making meat or like cooking, when you're making meat, when you're cooking meat, you don't want it touching a bone. When you put a meat mm -hmm. thermometer, which is what we have. It's washed, obviously, because like that's gross if you use dirty things when you're cooking. <laughs> no judgment for me. <laughs> We're at 212 currently. That's the boiling point of water. Fahrenheit. We have a bun. Always. <laughs> and it's boiling. And at this time, like, keep stirring. Especially, like, you don't want stuff at the bottom of your mm -hmm. saucepan. Those um, sticky bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> so once it reaches 240, it's getting close. And really, it's boiling a lot now. Um, you will take it off the heat, you're gonna let it cool for five minutes, and then you'll probably add all the other ingredients. Woo, we're getting close! One degree away! Okay. 240! Ah! So I turn the temperature off, I'm just gonna scooch it over. Now you gotta let it cool. Like that's still hot, so the, you know, I just like to have it on until not hot. So we're gonna let that cool. Then you'll add the rest, the rest of the ingredients for the topping, which is heavy whipping cream, so you're gonna stir that in, then there's salt, apple cider vinegar, rum extract, and then you stir and you let it cool. Bolt to scotch. Alexa, set a timer for three minutes. <gasps> Ring the bell. <laughs> Insert bell. All right, now what? This is a huge thing of fluff. How much did we need? That's literally all they had. Oh. Frigid will eat it. You may have this fluff. Let's say peanut butter and marshmallow for days. <laughs> so what you could do for me, we'll get a bowl out. Yeah. And then we'll eventually whip. It whip it. Good. When salsa comes to call, you must whip it. <laughs> okay, so it's cooled about five minutes. Um, and then we're gonna add a cup of whipping cream. So I'm gonna wait to put anything else in here until this is stirred in, and I'm not gonna go crazy because I'll make a mess. <laughs> okay, so the heavy whipping cream is all stirred in. And then we're gonna add salt, apple cider vinegar, rum extract, and we're gonna stir again. There's some apple cider vinegar in here. Hold on, I have to say I did something. I'm gonna pour something. Oh. So I can say I helped. You're a kitchen bully. <laughs> You're not being it. mean. I just, if I'm cooking she in my just kitchen. took it over. I need you to get out of my way. Would you like me to add the salt? Yes, you may. Would you like me to add the rum extract? I helped. So it's a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, and a half a teaspoon of the rum extract. 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 And then let it cool. So what I'm gonna say is, honestly, go put this in the fridge. Should I put just a little bit more? You do, you boo. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna do, you can't even see Tiffany. I'm a girl. <laughs> um, we have measured the 
fluff. And the syrup. And the syrup. I put a little extra butterscotch in just a titch. We'll uh, see how that works. By with the, the way, recipe. we licked a spoon of it. It is Lady Supreme approved. So this part is two tablespoons of the butterscotch syrup you just made. We let it cool a little bit. We have 3.5 ounces of fluff, and then we have a cup of heavy whipping cream. And Tiffany's gonna whip it. I'm gonna whip it good. What setting would you like my doll? Start off low. This is gonna make me anxious, I won't lie. Do you put the beaters in first? Oh. Yes, do you not do that? <laughs> I don't do this. You I don't. literally don't do this. You never whip anything? Like, mm -hmm. use beaters? You never bake? I don't bake. Just do this. And you want it to be like um, like all together and fluffy, but not stiff. And I help. So it's gonna be when you're whipping whipping cream, it's gonna be bubbly first. But you, you can also stir. You can also um, yep, yeah, start moving the bowl. Right in my mouth. It's looking really good though. One eternity later. I would say that's floppy. Mm -hmm. Water up. <laughs> it's good. I would put more butter beer in it next time. Butterscotch? Yeah. <laughs> but it's very good. Okay, so this is done. Kind of looks like that. It's not stiff, but it's fluffy. What do we do now? So this is stir two tablespoons into every 12 ounce of cold cream soda, or three cups into a full two liter. I don't know what it means when it says that, so I'm just gonna assume uh, the butterscotch. Yes, that's what I would assume. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do it. So, Man, did you take let's you try the humble yeah. pop cup first. Is this a twist off? Tis. Oh, Smell it. Here, smell that. Smell it. Will you smell it? Smells like cream soda. Smells like Teen Spirit. <laughs> this is gonna be messy. So this is what Sasa's gonna do. Gonna get some parchment paper. Ah, He's not wise. a messy human. And this is not her first time. I'm thinking maybe we should stir it together in one cup and pour it in so it looks better. Ah. Ravenclaw. Secrets of the internet. Secrets of the Ravenclaw. And the puppy. Pooch, pooch. You fancy, fancy pants. monstrosity. <laughs> if we wanted to be really fancy, what you could do, and I'm gonna say this, but this is excessive. Excessive. You could take the whipped topping and put it in like a Ziploc bag if you have one, or if you are a pastry person or a chef or whatever that has like those piping bags, you could put it in that and swirl it on top. You're all fancy. We're not that fancy today. Maybe next time. Layered in. Fold it on. Oh yes, oh yes. What if I licked it? Did you get my favorite book? I love you. <laughs> I did it all for the Insta. What? The Insta, what? Insert Hedwig's theme here. That's a pretty good shot. We are extra. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad. It's real good. Um, I prefer it to be frozen, so maybe next mm. time. We're also gonna try mm. to make it hot. I like it. Happy back to Hogwarts. <laughs> I'm 
knows mine will work. Not good. Neither does yours. <laughs> <laughs> I'll shave it for later though. Mm. So, tell the viewers at home, we're crooked. Cook time's 20 minutes. Prep time's 15. Amateur hour over here. <laughs> Container. Whip it. Whip it good. You need a, a whole bunch. Keep yeah, sick. hand mixer. I couldn't think of what it was called. Beaters. There's two beaters. I want to know what a third is. I don't know how to measure. <laughs> um, and it's a copycat homemade cold butterbeer recipe. Like most Leatherins, we are being disruptive on purpose. I'll stop for the ingredients. The ingredients. This is what we need to make the butterbeer. I will say none of these are sponsored. And we don't need that yet. I just want to smell it. <laughs> I can't even smell it though. I'm a little disappointed in that fact. Can you smell it? Is it wafting your way? It doesn't really smell like anything. That is disappointing. I want to smell it. I want to smell the butter and the sugar. It kind of does smell like butterscotch a wee bit. A wee? All right, cool. It's flying. Hello. It's two tablespoons. Ba -ba -ba. Um, ba -ba -ba. Casualties. That looks great. <laughs> oh lord. Well, we should edit that Ooh, one out. Bloopers! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing so hard? Look at how stupid it looks. It looks pretty great. Come here, pup. Can I kiss? Oh. Booch, booch. <laughs> it looks like it's looking at me.